We did a, a large study of using this immunoconjugate, the first immunoconjugate ever to be used in cancer, uh, in acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, we did some preliminary studies that uh, it had a bad reputation initially because the dose was too high and it caused toxicity, particularly liver toxicity. But we did a, a developmental study and showed that a smaller dose appeared to be just as effective as the then nine milligram dose. So we went into it with a three milligram dose, single dose in, in the uh, induction therapy. We then tried to find out whether you could give it with every course. So our plan would have been to do a large trial randomizing to get it with every course of treatment or not get it. But we couldn't give it with every course, it was too toxic. So we settled for giving it uh, uh, in course one and course three. To cut a long story short, giving it in course three didn't make any difference, so we can forget that. Um, but we ended up with young patients uh, giving it with standard chemotherapy. And then we did a second trial with, in older patients with standard chemotherapy, three milligrams, course one. Um, and a subset of that in young patients was the so-called core binding factor leukemia. This is a subgroup that's always had a better prognosis with conventional therapy. During the, what I was talking about today was that we looked at our experience over the years where we saw a quite significant improvement in survival and went through the different interventions we had undertaken over about 20 years. Um, <clears throat> to find out which was the one that made the biggest impact. In this subset, adding the gemtuzumab ozogomycin to standard chemotherapy in a single dose improved the survival by about 30%, absolute. Um, so this was a big contribution, but there were other things going on at the same time. We found that if you gave RSC in consolidation, which was a standard of care, and you gave go and induction, these patients did better. Uh, there was some suggestion that Flagida, instead of conventional Donruvastatin RSC chemotherapy uh, induction, might be better, but the numbers are really too small to know, and that's part of an ongoing trial in the UK. We then said, well, look, could we give a bigger dose than three milligrams, and did a three versus six milligram randomized trial, and showed that six was not better. And then uh, we don't know whether if you gave it over three or four days, whether that would be better. So that study is ongoing in the current UK trial. So we don't know that. So there still is stuff to come on whether we can really optimize the treatment. But as it stands, we think that there's very clear evidence in the core binding factor leukemia that if you add myelotard to your induction, uh, and you're using hydrozara C as consolidation, then you will imp you'll, these patients will have a, quite a high, roughly 80% survival. Uh, these trials probably involved about three and a half to 4,000 randomizations. Uh, the core binding factor was obviously less, but the figures, uh, the data is a median follow-up of about eight years, so it's quite mature and there don't seem to be any late relapses occurring. So in overall survival terms, this strategy seems to be something that should be considered. Paradoxically, that group of patients was not in the French study, which led to the approval of the drug in first line. So we don't know whether the French fractionation is going to be better, but we'll find out.